Okay, apologies for the poor quality. I'm going to show you how to get rid of this message, which seems to be popping up a lot lately. Um, it's a Windows 10 update that seems to encourage this pop up on the screen. You'll see that when you actually go and check your settings, Windows is in fact activated. Most laptops and netbooks come with a license anyway, so Windows 10 shouldn't be an issue. But if you've got a genuine copy of Windows 10 and you get in this message, which comes up every 10 seconds, um, I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. So on the machine that you've got the problem with, I'll just close that down. Go to command prompt, which you can get by typing in CMD in the search bar. And then run as administrator. Select yes. I will try and redo this video with a GoPro. But at the moment, this is the best I can do. So you want to type in S-L-M-G-R. Space minus sign. Rearm. Press enter. You should get a pop up. I've just done this a minute ago, so that's why I'm getting this error. So SLMGR space minus rearm. Then you want to do the same thing down here. Type in services.msc. This is not easy with one hand services.msc or you can just go to control panel find services there because that didn't work in fact we'll do it that way because so the control panel show you the other way control panel administrative tools services and the one you're looking for is the Windows License and Service. There you go, Windows License Manager. Click it, right click it, Properties. You want to change the startup type to Disabled. Apply that. Okay, that. And then just come up the top here and click on Stop. That'll stop the service. That should stop it, keep checking. That should be the message gone. And what you're probably best doing after that is to give it a quick restart and just make sure. Um, as I say, it comes through, I believe it comes through the updates. It's only happened in the last couple of months on this particular machine. It's been fine, it's been running genuine Windows for 12 months, and then all of a sudden, your Windows license has expired, which it hasn't and it shouldn't. So um, if you find another way or if you find it doesn't work, pop it in the comments and I'll see if I can figure out another way around it for you.